What's up guys, welcome back to the video on my channel. Today is Harry Town's second ever away game in the National League and today we are travelling 228 miles um, down south to play a team whose nicknames are the Ravens. Um, we're also, the team we are playing also has Premier League neighbours known as Crystal Palace. Their biggest attendance was 10,789 supporters against a Nigerian, Nigerian team on 24th September 1948. And the team, uh, one of the team's most famous players is the current Rangers goalkeeper, Wes uh, Fodderingham, who had two spells at the club in uh, 2010. Yes, guys, we are going to Bromley. So I'll see you on the coach. Come on town, let's get three points. Up the town! Say whatever you want. Chief Brody, Chief, let's go for it. Uh, I'm going to go to you on with uh, Dominic Oscar, both goals. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm going to go 3-1 town, uh, Knowles to get 2 and Emmett to get 1. Court town. Court town. <laughs> afternoon's team news for the away fixture at Bromley in the National League sponsored by Kevin Guy's big day out. In goal number one James Belshaw, a back four of number six Warren Burrell, number five Callum Howe, number 15 Kelvin Langmead and number 20 Liam Kitchen. Across the middle of the park in midfield we have number four Josh Falkenham, number eight Jack Emmett, number seven George Thompson Number 18, Jack Muldoon, and leading the front line for Arrogate Town this afternoon on their way to a glorious victory. Number 16, Aaron Williams, and number 10, Dominic Knowles. On the bench today, 13, Joe Cracknell. 3, Ben Parker. 11, Joe Leasley. 14, Liam Agnew. And 17, Lloyd Kerry. Come on, town. Right, guys, I'm here with Harvey. What's your score prediction for today's game? 2, no, 3 1. To town. Who's going to score for us, Harvey? Um, Dom's going to get one, Muldoon's going to get one, and Williams will get one. Come on, town! You're asking me? Right, guys, who have Harrogate Town fan Tony? What's your score prediction for today's game? Who's going to score for us? Uh, Williams and Leesley. Come on, town!
Jay. Right, guys, we're the one nearly Jordan Ford. What's your score for today's game? Today, I think we'll win. And I think we'll win 3-1. Who's your score for us then? 2-1. Two 2-1. One. Two one. Uh, well, Harry Williams is probably my favourite player, so I think he'll get 2. And Dominic Knowles. But, but, I'll put this on file. Harry Williams will be our top goal scorer this season. Cut down! Cut down! Cut Come on! 
nice, 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 nice. Come on, so! Uh, yeah, hello everybody. Thanks again for everybody who travelled with us today to Bromley. Leaving at 8 o'clock this morning. Uh, we're still going, it's nearly 10 o'clock. Been a long day. Uh, but yeah, again, the Harrogate Town fans have been fantastic. <laughs> and again, on last Tuesday at Harleypool, uh, absolutely brilliant from the, the town fans. Full coach going up. Um, still got seats available for Aldershot on Saturday and also to somewhere else, Bild, uh, on Bank Holiday Monday, and that's going to be a fantastic day, uh, leaving at 10 o'clock, about three and a half hours at Lytham St Anne's playing football on the beach, so please do come uh, support us, coach here is full of families, uh, little kids, and it's uh, just been an excellent day, thank you. At Bromley, and also on the line as well is uh, one of the uh, Harrogate Town fans that's uh, that's been to the match this afternoon. We're joined by Peter. Let's start with you first, Peter. What did you make of the performance? Uh, it wasn't our best. I've got to be honest with that. I thought uh, Bromley were the better team, and I think if it wasn't for Belly, we could have quite easily been. Well, they could have quite easily been out of sight by end of the first half. I'd stated last year that Belly was the best keeper in the conference north, and for me. If there's a better keeper in this league, he should be playing for England. He's that good. He, he could definitely play a football league. They just need a bit of time to adjust. Cause, you know, yeah, town have yeah, moved a, up another division. Yeah. Oh, it's, it, you know, I mean, as a fan, like the three games, I'm absolutely worn out watching them. <laughs> Forty odd. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got no air, so I can't lose that. So, coach, now, and I think we're all in agreement. The supporters, coach. We're all in agreement that Billy, you know, he's, he's our man of the match and that. So. The last win, they said there were 68 town fans there. I think they forgot to mention Dick Turpin came as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Peter. Just turn back to Barry one more time as well, though. Nico on Twitter saying if it wasn't for Belshaw today, Harrogate would have got hit for seven or eight. Absolute daylight robbery taking a point home, but we'll take it. It's still a learning curve. Right guys, I just got back from the game and the only thing I can say is I've travelled 228 miles seeing James Bowshaw save the day. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.